Okay, so we've just created our drawing style with our view. We now need to change the object presentation. Now you'll notice that the object presentation of my new view is using a 3 underscore 2D view dash MPRT mark. And if I go and look at my original drawing style I copied, it has the same presentation. If I click the view down here, same presentation. This means what? I need to come in here and create a new object presentation because I want to draw my concrete and column uh, views in such a way that it appears the way I want to see them. So I'm going to change this 2D view conch column and 45 degree because that's the way I want to label the columns. Pick OK and apply. Now the first thing I want to do, and you wouldn't normally do this, but today we're going to go through, we're going to delete all these views. And one thing you'll notice when I hit apply, I actually can't delete the first record. And that's intentional because you must have something in the object presentation rule to at least show something or nothing. Okay. In this case, you'll notice that the first record is showing not visible role. If we go and have a look at it, it's actually any object with a model role of not visible. And this is important to note because if you want to not display any objects, i.e. if you model some existing steelwork, you can set the model role to that beam as not visible and it will not display. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come in and show our concrete footings. Okay. So let's go and say, copy, apply. You'll notice that the second record, the delete option is available. Click back on the first one. It's gray again. Okay. Just so you can see the difference. From the drop down list, we have some predefined model roles. Okay. And in this case, I want to go and look at the concrete all option. Okay. And because I changed it, Hit apply. Now let's double click and have a look at concrete all. And in concrete all, you can see a concrete beam, concrete curve beam, an isolated footing, a slab, a wall. These are the base pure objects inside advanced steel. Any model role in this case. Okay. And at the moment, if I create the view, you will get nothing because the presentation is set to off. So let's just make it interesting. We'll use visible hidden because that's the general GA accepted presentation. Apply and we must now go and test the view. Now when I hit use because our drawing style here was set to use the current XY plane of the current UCS and it will allow me, it'll, it's also asking me to select a boundary to limit my view. Okay. So we go and say use. We come into here, create drawing. I've already created two drawings. So I've been playing around with this. You can see where my UCS is sitting. It's sitting on the top of my concrete footing. So I'll go and orbit around, determine if I want to see one footing, two footings. It doesn't really matter. Pick. And it saves and creates a drawing. Save the model, go to the document manager, open up drawing three, and look at that. We get our concrete footings. Close, save. All right. We're still missing our columns. Now, what we could do is we could actually copy our um, concrete settings, hit apply, and we're going to change this to be simply, um, let's have a look here, column all roles. Okay. Apply. And in this case, you can notice that I can move these around up and down to adjust the hierarchy. This is important to remember because sometimes you want certain objects to appear first and you'll see what I mean in a moment. 
So it doesn't matter in this case whether the columns or concrete comes first. They're both set to visible hidden. Hit apply and hit use and it's going to create drawing 4. It's good to keep recreating the drawings because it just regenerates a drawing and gives you a better picture. Okay, especially during development where you're changing lots of settings, it's always a good habit to get into. You will notice though that the corners of my use uh, my eye beam here don't have the radius. And there's a reason for this. Close save. In my drawing style, I've actually set my column display to be visible hidden. Whereas if I actually come and set it to visible exact hidden, I will get an exact display of the cross section. Again, create another drawing after I hit use, select my boundary, click OK, save, and you'll see drawing five, I now have nice, beautiful instances. Okay. The important part to remember here is that you can control the representation or the style of these objects with that presentation rule. 